My name is Junior, and I have adopted the Muslim name Junaid. Beloved Hazur, new converts who come from very different backgrounds and cultures that have existed for thousands of years, in my case, Samoan. What should be our view regarding our traditions, customs, and celebrations of our forefathers and ancestors? Should we acknowledge our past and our history, or should we try to distance ourselves from the different way of life of those before us? You see, what we believe is that Allah Ta'ala sent prophets in every people and nation. So they brought the same teaching that is to bow before their creator perform their duties towards their creator. And also, they taught us good morals. That is very common in every religion. And this is why in the Holy Quran, Allah Ta'ala says to the people of the book, he asked the Holy Prophet, ask them, that come on common points between us. And the most important of that is to worship one and omnipotent God. So what we believe is that although there are different tribes and nations, but uh, they were all trained by their prophets. The original teaching of each and every religion was to lead their people and tell them the message of Allah and that message is to bow before Allah Ta'ala, the Creator, and show good morals, respect each other. And that is the common thing. And apart from that, there are certain traditions. And Allah Ta'ala says in the Holy Quran, all the good things of the previous prophets have been gathered. So the teaching of the Holy Quran, apart from the new teaching, there are all the old teachings which were taught and brought by the prophets of different people and nations. So now your question is that should we follow our traditions? One basic principle you must remember that any tradition which denies the oneness and omnipotence of Allah Ta'ala should be rejected. Apart from that, there are some cultural traditions which has nothing to do with the religion, which does not prohibit you to offer your five daily prayers, to observe your Salat, to keep fast, to read the Holy Quran, show good morals, and if it is not prohibiting you from doing this thing, then you can practice those traditions. But other than that, if there is any tradition which clashes the teaching of Islam, then you have to refrain from that. Islam is the universal religion, and people from all across the world have joined Islam, and still joining Islam. Every nation, every people, every tribe, they have different traditions, so they can practice their tradition as long as they are not clashing with the basic teachings of Islam. Okay? You can do it. So, you know, for uh, celebrating your marriage ceremony, different tribes have different traditions. You can perform that. If it is not clashing with the teaching of Islam, if it is not uh, denying the concept of oneness of Allah Ta'ala, then you can do it. So the sanctity of Allah Ta'ala should always remain intact whenever you are doing anything. That is the basic thing. Right? Thank you. Jazakallah. Jazakallah. <laughs>